really thin. And when I joined the collegiate dance squad, we had to wear weaves and I had to glue my hair in because I had short hair and the glue tore my edges up. Boy, you can't walk around with no edges. Like, no, you can't. <laughs> and like, okay, you can't do it. So I was like, I had Is to that equivalent to the man's hairline? Because I always yes, hear Yes, it is. Edges. Okay, yeah. so it's your hairline. Yeah, yeah and right. I would have to right. keep weaves in to cover that up. And it was a struggle. And I was like, I have to take a healthier alternative. And that's when I decided to just grow my hair naturally. And I did the big chop. And my hair is it's fuller, it's stronger. And if I were to straighten my hair, it would be like the bomb it would be like Amen. it yeah i think marky mark has a question uh oh <laughs> hold up marky mark is up in the studio go. hold on i don't on. even know where this is gonna go <laughs> okay look this is a very very serious question yes, sir. <laughs> so what's the difference mm -hmm. between a female being natural mm -hmm. and using it as, a, as an excuse to just not care what you know, you never seen a girl just not do nothing with her hair, and yeah. she'd be like, I'm natural. You'd be like, no, oh, y'all, you just didn't brush your hair today. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take care. You know what I'm saying? No, it is a difference, though. That's it is a difference. Is. Oh, no, he's telling the it truth, is a though. difference. Please explain it's a difference. Well, I'm going to say that has to be um, an individual perspective. Um, if you care with how you look, the way you look, then... I really hope look, that you're you going to do something. You got three ladies you know, here that yourself. obviously care about their hair. Obviously, because we get it in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, look. the girl, you be like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> but we see, but we've seen like guys that. like that, too. Mm -hmm. Ugh, like look. With, with relashes, too. So and you know, and oh, weaves. Yeah. Let's yeah. not get it twisted. That's real. And weaves. Yeah, so, I just smell some weaves. You know. Oh, you, did you say you smelled some weaves? Ladies walking by. Okay, this is the most entertaining show yet. He smelled some weeds. We've all been there where you smell some teen bundles. That's what they did. So, all right, so let's let's go further. So, have you always done hair, or is this something that you were more into when once you start going the natural route? I have pretty much always done natural hair. Okay. This my husband Jermaine was the first victim. Who allowed me to experiment with him? I mean, his his joints are on, yeah. on point right point. now. His, always his on locks point. Look his great. locks are on They're point. Always on point. Yeah. Um. I mean, he does a good <laughs> job also with maintaining them. Yeah. So you know, really, I just do a little part. But he he does the big thing. Um. But um. Um. Uh, well, as far as you doing hair, like yes. Um. Okay. So pretty much, we have a um 16 year old, and I started doing her hair at an early, early age. Mm -hmm. um, she's been natural all her life, so that's where it started. I braiding, braiding her up, and she's out on the playground, and people see the work, and they, yeah. you know, inquire about service. And then next thing you know, I had a booming clientele. I started braiding first, and then um, I started twisting his hair, and he's locked up. He's been locked up now going on 17 years. Okay. So that's about as long as I've been in the game as well. Okay. So um, tell us this, because back in the day, I used to have my 